So bike packing bags are awesome in that they give you carrying capability on bikes that don't have uh, mounts for racks or anything like that. But there are some downsides and one of the big ones is that over time they will just wear down your bike's paint. And I know some of you are big fans of the idea of patina and busage. I am too. But if you're like me, you sort of want to protect your investment uh, in your bikes as long as possible and try to kind of prevent undue wear. So in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, protecting your bike's frame uh, from the scuffs that you get from using bike packing bags with some tape. Uh, some people call it helicopter tape, different names, different brands of it. This is um, some tape I've been using recently and I'll show you how it's done. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, bike touring, gravel exploring, the supple life, you have found your people, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we release uh, a brand new video. So I'm gonna show you guys two bikes, uh, one bike where I didn't put protective uh, tape on it at all. So you can kind of just see what the wear looks like. And another bike where I put the tape on it, I put a frame bag on it and rode a gravel event with the, with the bike. Okay, so the first bike is this Salsa Cutthroat. We've had this for about two years. This is a bike that we attempted Dirty Kanza on, have done lots of bike packing trips with it, a lot of DK training. So it's seen a lot of miles. And on this bike, uh, I didn't quite have the foresight to put any protective tape on it. So with this bike, I've used different kinds of frame bags with it. Uh, as well as various stem bags connecting it to the handlebar and the fork. So I, I removed all the bags and kind of cleaned up the bike a little bit. And after about two years of use, I'm actually surprised it fared pretty well. I mean, you can definitely tell where there has been some wear, uh, just transitions from the glossy paint to kind of a matte uh, finish over the, if you run your fingers over the bike, you can definitely feel uh, where the straps have worn through the paint a little bit. So surprisingly, not too bad. But if you are going on a, a really long tour and are always riding dirty, then it's going to really accelerate the wear. I think where I see the wear most is actually in uh, the head tube and in the fork. And that happens when you're using a stem bag. Uh, the bag just tends to kind of rub and rotate uh, across the head tube. And the webbing straps, or in this instance, uh, these uh, cordage bands, tend to almost act like a you know one of those hand saws uh, on your fork leg. So definitely the wear is probably the most noticeable on actually the fork leg. So overall, surprisingly not so bad, but I think uh, you know in another year or two years, it will definitely wear through the paint and the raw carbon will start showing through. So to prevent that, you can use this stuff. Um, some people call it helicopter's tape. It comes under various names. This brand in particular is ISC Racers Tape. You know, I bought it online and it, and it came highly rated. So looking at the reviews and seeing uh, people's experiences with it, uh, it seemed like a, a good a good choice. I mean, I magically changed bikes to a bike where I applied the tape and have been riding it for a couple of weeks and even took it on the Idaho gravel event you guys saw uh, a couple of weeks ago. And boom, we're back, but this time with a different bike. Uh, this is the Salsa Warbird. And on this bike, when it first came in, I put some of that helicopter tape on parts of the frame where the frame bag uh, would rest, where the straps would wrap around the frame. This is actually a pretty good bike to, to show what it does on uh, because it's matte and it attracts a lot of dirt. So you can see just, you know, everyday riding, it's gonna attract some dust and particles that'll stick to the frame. And when that stuff gets caught beneath uh, the frame bag straps. Over time, as you ride, it'll just kind of jiggle and wear away the paint. So I definitely put some of the tape on the fork. So as you can see, it's prevented any abrading like, um, like what happened on the cutthroat. And you can see on this piece on the down tube, you can see where uh, dirt has collected and, and even kind of an impression of the strap. So imagine all that dirt getting caught by the strap and just ripping away at your bike's uh, paint. So overall looking at the tape so far, it seems to be pretty durable. It's not tearing in any in any place. It's looking pretty good. In the past I've used things uh, as, as simple as just clear packing tape and it's kind of a hack job because that stuff does peel up. It's a pain to take off and it will rip and shred over time. But this stuff so far feeling pretty confident. So one interesting thing about this tape um, it can be applied dry, so you just cut it, remove the adhesive backing and place it on your bike, or it can be applied wet on wet. So that what that means is you would wet the frame, uh, cut off a strip of tape, wet that, and position it on your bike. And the advantage of doing it wet on wet is it gives you time to kind of really fine tune the position and there, you don't have to stress out that you have to 
lay it down perfectly the first time. And as you apply it, you do want to be conscious of any bubbles that get uh, stuck beneath it. Pretty similar to applying those screen protectors for your smartphone. So we're gonna do uh, a couple things, a couple of them a little bit backwards. I'm actually curious uh, what it would look like to remove the piece of tape. Just to test, say in the long run, you wanna swap it out or you wanna sell a bike and you wanna take the tape off, how it fares. So this tape has been on the bike for about a month. So what I'm gonna do is uh, spray, spray down the tape and uh, see if we can peel it off without ruining the paint. Hopefully this works. Right, so it seems to be coming up okay. I'm gonna get some B-roll of this. Right, so there you have it. Uh, I've successfully removed uh, the tape after it's been applied uh, for at least a month, I think maybe a little bit longer. And I mean, looking at the paint, it's in like, perfect condition. Uh, no scratches. It didn't take any paint with it, which is a good sign. Again, you know, it hasn't been on there for months or years, so I can't really test that at the moment, but so far feeling pretty good. Okay, now that I removed it, I'm going to put some tape back on there uh, just because it is a spot where I want tape to be. So uh, I'm going to change camera angles. So as you can see, pretty good. No scuffs, no marks. This tape is just right width to fit between those two uh, bolt holes there. So I'm just measuring this out. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, what the instructions tell you to do is to wet the surface. I'm going to remove the adhesive backing like so. And I'm going to place it where I want it. As you can see, it's got some bubbles. You can squeegee the bubbles off. And, uh, you know, one advantage you can see there's a, whoops. You can move it around while it's wet, which is kind of a nice feature. So I know some of you guys are gonna be more anal about the bubbles than I am. I'm not too anal about it. Just want it to get on there. So easy as that, do that as many number of times as you need to, uh, to cover where the straps meet the frame. I will say it get it does get a little bit trickier around the fork. You have to kind of get, you kind of have to shape the tape a little bit more so it'll it'll fit on the fork without buckling. Um, actually, let's do that. I'm going to put the cutthroat on back on this stand, and uh, we'll put some tape on the cutthroat finally. All right, so we're back. Um, kind of pre-measured some tape. I think this is going to be a little bit trickier, just because um, there's a lot more going on with this shape. Okay, removing the backing. And this is where that wet on wet uh, kind of application really helps just because you can move things around as need be. Okay, it kind of conforms. It's pretty good. You may have to add some slits as necessary for it to conform or to really conform around uh, the shape you're trying to get around. So you've really got to uh, Experiment, <laughs> again, but you can see it's fairly easy to apply and fairly easy to take off. So if you do mess up, it's not the end of the world. If you miss the spot where you gotta add more tape, uh, it's not the end of the world. And it looks, that looks okay. It's not, not perfect, but better. Uh, let's put some on the head tube here. A uh, tricky spot, just because of its shape. A little tricky lineup. I'm going to put another layer on the top. Okay. So that settled in a little bit better. Okay. So definitely uh, not a perfect application, uh, but you can see how it works. It's pretty simple. Just wet down the frame, wet down uh, the back of the tape. It'll buy you some time to kind of place it on the frame. For more complex shapes, you're definitely gonna have to do it either in smaller strips or cut some facets uh, just to shape it around those more complex shapes. Uh, so, so far so good. Um, for now, I, t I recommend this product. It's easy to work with, uh, it doesn't break the bank. And if you get the uh, two, by, two inch by 12 foot roll, uh, definitely enough tape to do multiple bikes. I feel like you can probably get at least four, four to five bikes out of this um, 
roll, single roll of tape, and that's if you're doing it in sections. I'm gonna put the uh, link in the description below. Yes, it is an affiliate link, so if you buy the tape, it'll help me out a little bit. You know, I'll get those pennies on the dollar, I guess. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys have a different type of tape that you like to, to use. Uh, leave those in the comments below. And as always, keep the supple side down.